plebeian. You forget your station, sir. Do not presume to look his majesty directly in the eye. I went to start this motor up. Stuttered like a Jimmy Stewart monologue. TG Motor Rider on my uh, Nomad 1600. It's a nice 34 degree morning. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about the Shinko uh, 777 tires. These are about a thousand miles in. You know, they're pretty sticky tire. I know they are a bias applied tire. And the thing is, when you do talk about Shinko 777 tires, people have mixed feelings about them. You know, people say, oh, it's a cheap tire, it's a bias ply, it's not a radial. Why are you not putting a radial on your motorcycle? Well, I've had 10 motorcycles, um, and I've had tires put on all of them at different points in time. Uh, I've been through four sets of Shinko tires, four. All the others have been uh, like Michelin Commander 2s, uh, Road 5s, you know, stuff like that. I, I always try to get you know, good, sticky, dual compound tire if I can find it. I went with the Shinkos for my heavy cruisers, my 1800 and um, the Nomad. Uh, they, they, this bike weighs 830 pounds wet. Uh, the bias ply tire is better for heavier applications. Bias ply tires are also much less flexible. Uh, they tend to wear faster because they do not dispense the heat as well as a radial tire. So yeah, there's some negatives. The positives are that for what you're getting, for what you're paying for a Shinko 777, it's a real sticky rubber compound. They tend to ignore tar snakes. Um, they're very good in the wet, I've noticed. You know, it's a very sticky rubber compound and that's why I rolled with it. Uh, for better or worse. It looks like they're worried about the snow coming. It looks like they put salt down on the road. So out of all the tires I've ever owned, the Shinkos, I will say, are not my favorite tire. I mean, my favorite tire, to be honest with you, for a cruiser is the Commander 3. And Commander 2s are really good, too. I've had them both. Those are Michelins. You know, so about seven years ago, I started putting Shinkos on different bikes just to see, you know, how they were in different weather. I ride year-round. That's the deal with the Shinkos. They, uh, I, I want to try them out, and they ended up being great. Now, I will say they are short-lived. You will, you're not going to get eight to 10,000 miles, I don't think, out of a set of Shinko 777s. I mean, I've, I'm already looking to replace mine on the, uh, on the 1800, the rear one, and I just put that on 1,200 miles ago. 1,200 miles on my BTX 1800. Kind of get a little worn right in the middle there. I mean, that rear Shinko is starting to look like the top of my head. But then you come over here. These are about a thousand miles on my Nomad 1600, and uh, it kept the tread really well. So, difference is I don't really hammer this bike very much. This bike, however, I hammer quite a bit. You know, Telly Savalas is looking at you going, dude, you're bald? Then you're bald. That's where me and that Shinko are going. We're going to Baldsville. That's life over 50. Good thing I got that AARP membership. I got a glossary in the mail. It teaches you new terminology once you become an AARP member. The new F word becomes, ah, fiddle faddle. By the way, it's not a refrigerator or a fridge. It's, it's an ice box. It's not a trash can. It's a waste paper basket. On my previous Shinka reviews, I've had mostly positive responses. I've, I had a few negative response. Why would you put discount tires on your motorcycle, you fool? There is something to be said for that logic. However, I will say that just because a Shinko 777 is reasonably priced, that does not make it a bad tire. There's very good engineering that goes into Yokohama tires, and Shinko bought the patents and the formula. So, Shinko's just reproducing what Yokohama did, because Yokohama wanted out of the motorcycle game, basically. But you see the way he ran that light? Sitting there hobnobbing on his phone, he probably didn't see it. Because he was hobnobbing on his phone. Naturally, the front looks good. 
Barely worn at all. Green blooded Vulcan. GG Moto Rider. Signing off. Where's the sun? I lost quite a glare. Now I'm gonna need my bifocals.